I want to welcome you back to Black Sight. And tonight, we're going to talk about reparations for ADOS and FBA in America. The only apology I will accept from white people is reparations. I don't care how much you apologize for George Floyd, how much humiliation you take. I don't care how many politicians pray for George Floyd. The only acceptance, the only thing that's acceptable is cutting a check to black America. All of a sudden, after George Floyd took a knee to his neck and died on the streets of America, all of a sudden, white people feel the pain of 400 years that we have been suffering. If you feel that much pain, I want to tell every white person who's on the streets of America protesting, go home. Go home, call every politician that you have in Congress. There's 435 in the House. We need 219 to pass reparations. In the Senate, depends on who's running it. If the Democrats are running it, we need 51 votes to get reparations. If the Republicans are still in charge, it might be 60. And if there's a Democrat president, Joe Biden, he must sign the reparation bills if it's passed in both houses. And that amount of money is between 10 and $17 trillion that the United States government owes black people for slavery, Jim Crow, and discrimination for 400 years. I don't want to hear anybody telling me about that we gave a million, two million dollars to Black Lives Matter. We gave a million or two million dollars to the National Action Network or the NAAC put a, or, or the Urban League as payment for somehow George Floyd dying. George Floyd is not the only black man that has died in this country. He's about the million, 249,400 black man who has been lynched castrated, discriminated against, and now all of a sudden you feel our pain. Or just maybe you just feel our pain because it's election year. Or maybe you just feel our pain because you're scared that we may not spend our dollars with your corporation since black people are the, not the ninth largest buying person in America, in the world, excuse me. See, you have to make put down a marker today and say, uh-uh, I could care less about defunding the police department, dismantling the police department. Yes, police reforms is okay, but the number one issue that we should all rally around, that should be reparations and reparations. Now, this is the time to strike the blow. And let's see where these politicians truly stand when it comes to supporting the black community. See, it's easy to support the black community when you're not putting tangibles and you're not putting money on the table. See, they will always have their buck dancing politicians protecting them. And I want to say something about Sean King, a person I didn't care much for, but he said something profound on Twitter. They're always telling us to vote, vote, and we did vote. We voted in most of these mayors in these cities who hire police chiefs. And where's all the police brutality happening in these major cities, Minneapolis, Louisville, New York, Los Angeles, Baltimore, countless many others. And what have we received? Nothing. But one thing we can receive is what is owed us. And we should never be ashamed to ask to be paid because white folks every day, they want to get paid. So when you see Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, Joe Biden, don't let them shine you off with giving money to organizations, passing a bill on police reform or talking about passing a discrimination bill in the Senate. 
Don't let them pass that off. The only bill that is true to the game is that reparation bill. And don't you ever, ever forget it. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel, smash that like button, and share this video.